Hello dear all welcome to Sunday Education Academy I am Santosh Wag here we will see questions under try this section page number 91 chapter square and square root class 8 mathematics so let's start our video now see the questions under try this section page number 91 chapter square and square root see the question which of 123 square 77 square 82 square 161 square 109 square would end with digit number 1 so these numbers are given and if we find the squares of this number what is asked which numbers which of these numbers would end with the digit 1 so here we will again refer a chart see the chart just refer the chart in the chart squares are given of the numbers 1 to 20 and if we see carefully we can see there are specific numbers at the unit place of squares means only 0 1 4 5 6 or 9 these are the only numbers for the unit place for the perfect square number so if if we see here for number 1 unit place for the square number is 1 and for 9 also for 9 also unit place of the square number is also 1 here 19 also 361 means unit place number of square number if is 1 for number 19 for 9 also for 1 also for 11 also what this concludes means if the number is having a unit place of 1 or 9 1 or 9 either 1 or either 9 then the unit place of the square of that number will be 1 only 1 see 9 square is 81 1 square 1 11 square is 121 and 19 square is 361 all these numbers square all these numbers unit place of the square is only 1 so this will this rule we we will apply to solve this example again see one more is there if the number if the number is 4 unit place number is 4 or 6 see here 4 14 6 16 if the unit place number is either 4 or either 6 then unit place number of the square number is always 6 see there 6 256 unit place is 6 here 14 196 means unit place is 6 for 4 unit place is 6 and for 6 unit place is 6 these are the some rules so by just looking at unit place number of perfect square number we can guess which is the unit place of that number so what is asked here which of these numbers square numbers would end with digit 1 so just we have seen if the digit is 1 then its square is square root is either one unit place is either one or nine so just apply this rule here if 123 is number its unit place perfect square number its uh, squares unit place will be nine for 3 it is nine are you getting see see here for 3 it is nine for 13 it is again unit place is nine for square number so these are the some rules so for 3 we know if the unit place of the number is 3 then its squares unit place is 9 so this will be not the number whose unit place would be 1 77 for 77 again if the number unit place number is 7 then its squares unit place See, squares unit place is nine. For seven, it is nine. For seventeen, also it is nine. 
so this will be not will be also not the answer for 82 if the square if the numbers unit place is 2 then its squares unit place is always 4 for 2 it is 4 for 12 it is 144 now 161 see here is unit place number is 1 so its squares number unit place will be always 1 because we have seen if the unit place number unit place of that number is 1 or 9 then then the unit place of that number square is also 1 so our answer will be 161 here will what will be the answer 161 and 109 these are the two numbers whose unit place 161 square and 109 square if we solve this then the number which we get that unit place of that number is 1 now see the next one which of the following numbers would have digit 6 at unit place again the, if we solve this squares then we will we have seen the table again see the table in this table just observe 36 and 16 observe this column square column this column where is the 6 unit place is 6 here 256 196 but 196 is a square of 14 means unit place of that number is 4 are you getting again 256 is a perfect square and its square root is 16 unit place of this number is 6 so there are two numbers whose whose if we take a square of that number 14 or 16 then we get unit place as 6 in that square number so apply this rule for 19 unit place will be, unit place will be 1 because it is 9 so unit place will be 1 so it is not a number then 24 as unit place is 4 we are getting unit place of the square number as 6 so it is our answer 24 so 24 square for this number we will get 6 as a unit place again 26 square there is a 6 so again this will be the number 26 square will have a unit place as a 6 then 36 here also there is 6 so it's if we find the square of this number 36 square we get 6 as a unit place number and 34 for this also we will get 6 as a unit place so these are the four numbers so always remember if the number has four either four or either six then square of that number will always end with with digit unit place will be unit place will be 6 if the number end with either 4 or either 6 this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you